Happy Pride Month everyone! I hope you're doing well. For this glorious month I will be taking the Pride flags as you can see here with the Demi flag and I will be using their colour palettes to make beautiful weaponry because I need to make something that I really enjoy right now and weapons are cool and they can be so pretty and I decided to pick flags based on the people that I know so you've got me and a few of my friends and this is based off my friend Laura mostly, as she is a demisexual. And I just thought a bow really suited how she was able to describe it to me, as I ended up getting a lot of different opinions from people, as I myself, you know, I'm, I'm not, so it's good to get different opinions. And I thought a very shiny, elegant bow would be perfect for it. Let me know what you think. Next up we have the traditional, or I guess classic, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but the rainbow flag and it's just it's so iconic and that got me thinking of swords swords are the classic the iconic and i just thought a rainbow sword would be so cool and it just got me thinking of the butterfly rainbow sword from dragon age origins and now i want to replay that but i have to finish this first so um it took me a long time to figure out what type of sword as any time i tried to draw it out it looked very um questionable i guess you could say uh, and whenever I think of rainbows, I instantly think of clouds, so I wanted to try and add that in there and make it a very magical sword that could kind of like uh, cut through the clouds and, I don't know, control them or something, I'm not really sure. Uh, the colour palette was a nightmare. I There's so many bright colours and I was not sure what to do at first. Um, and I didn't want to keep the harsh black lines because it just, it just made it, it didn't, it didn't fit well, if that's a good way of putting it. Um, so I ended up trying to make it very soft and shiny because these are weapons and they need to be shiny because I like sparkles and shininess and next up we have the ace flag which is my flag and I I may be a bit biased on this mainly just because I really really ha I had a really good idea of what I wanted to do for this flag as I'm an ace I, I, I have the clearest opinion on what I think a weapon based on this flag would look like uh, and I fought a giant battle axe because an ace and an axe an ace with an axe it, it rhymes it, it could be a good pun one day who knows and I just fought moons stars sparkles it fits well with the black grey and purple as for this uh, challenge in making weapons out of the colour schemes of the pride flags uh, you're limited to some colours uh, and it can be quite daunting in trying to figure out what to go where so it all pops out nicely um, except for the rainbow sword obviously that one was just um, a nightmare and I had to use a lot of white and uh, tricks in the layers to get all that right and how I wanted to so it wouldn't you know look awkward and weird but I really like how um, the ace axe turned out it kind of looks a bit similar to the demi bow but that's because they've got similar colour schemes but I, I, I enjoy this quite a lot and I'm really curious of what you think about these weapons or what you think other flags would look like as weaponry. And last but not least, we have the transgender flag. And I had to ask my younger brother for uh, inspiration on this as he is a transgender himself. And I wasn't really sure uh, where to go with it. And he was on about uh, two weapons in one. And I tried to think of what that would be. And then I thought like, you know, Scythes and obviously I, I got inspired from Soul Eater, that's not my fault, but you have like Chain Scythes or the Sickle and Chain, uh, which is really cool and he liked that idea so I stuck with that uh, and I, I every time I think of the colour palette for the um, for this flag, I just think soft fluffy clouds and it ended up becoming so overly pink and just it's so cute and I feel like it would be in a magical girl anime and it's just so cute. And that is my Pride Month video. It came out a little later than I expected, but I hope you enjoyed. Check out my social media for the full illustrations and subscribe for more.